Hi there, my name is Ryan and today I'm going to teach you how to set up the gamut for cyclic voltammetry. So this mouse pad has all of the different diagrams and a reference for the colors of the different electrode leads. Feel free to pause if you want to read that. In the meantime, here are all of your electrodes. So to start we're going to plug in the reference electrode to a longer lead uh, so that you can go ahead and connect it to a cell. So we have a cord set aside for this that's labeled reference. It's also got a blue heat shrink coating on the alligator clip. You're going to take off the Gamry alligator clip to expose the mini banana connector there, and you're just going to plug that into the end of the cable and set that aside. Next, we're going to hook up our counter electrode. Once again, just pull off the included alligator clip. Take your extended line with the red heat shrink on the end and plug in that mini banana connector. Uh, you can find adapters in the uh, Gamry tools. And then last, we're going to short our uh, working and working sense electrodes together. Grab the red cable and plug both of those into that connector. Now we've got our cell all set up with a uh, gold working electrode. You're going to plug your uh, silver silver chloride reference electrode in first and then the counter electrode is a platinum wire. It's very important to plug the reference in first just because that's what the system is expecting, but it doesn't matter the order that you plug the other two electrodes in. Make sure you also connect the ground wire coming out of the back of the gamry to anything that is connected to the plumbing. So now we can jump over to the gamry framework software pull up a new experiment, drop down the experiment menu, and we're going to start by going to utilities and getting our RU, which is the impedance of the cell. It's a good way to check to make sure all of your electrodes are configured properly and to make sure that everything's plugged in right. So if we're under a thousand ohms, we're probably good to go. Hit F2 to skip that experiment, move to the next one. And then to do voltammetry, you're going to go to the physical electrochemistry men uh, menu. Set your file name. We like to do one underscore or the number of the experiment followed by an underscore. Then some sort of identifier for the experiment. Today we're doing blank ammonia buffer solution on our molecular imprint polymer electrode. And then another underscore with any notes afterwards. Um, maybe specify the kind of working electrode you're using or any sort of parameters that you've altered. Uh, and then if you want to pull up specific parameters, you can use one of those set files and just make sure you choose a set name from that menu as well so it doesn't give you an error. And that'll set up all the parameters just so that they're the same as any other similar experiment you're running. Um, you'll notice that that uh, initial E is selected as versus open circuit potential. That's important because it means you don't have to take a separate open circuit potential measurement. We're also IR compensating for this experiment. And then a cycle on the gamry is twice as long as a sweep segment on the CHI potentiostat, so that's just something important to note. Set our two second lead time, and then this pop-up just tells you that it's going to uh, use the open circuit potential to start from. You can make sure your graph looks good, and if there are no overflow errors, then you're probably good to go. That's all for today.